Guys, the year is almost over. <laughs> 2020 crept in like we're in disguise. Uh, looking like it was normal until COVID said hello and here we are. But you guys are here. We are here. Y'all have been here. And I think we should be very proud and so grateful for that. But in case you're a first timer and you're watching your screen wondering, who is this girl up in her feelings today and what am I watching? This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. We are an entertainment analyst show that does it better than no other, if I like to say so myself. While sipping tea, we serve you with the hottest news, celebrity breakdown and everything pertaining lifestyle. If it is hot, if you well, should care, and in your la and I, myself of course, we will definitely be talking about it. Hello guys. Hey. Hi. What's going on? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, I must say, I'm, I'm liking your vibe every day. Always giving us lines since yesterday. Ah, uh ah, -uh, go cool, girl. Okay, that's how it. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> What's good, man? How are you yeah, guys? Yeah, how are you guys? Fine. Bless, mm. bless, bless. We're trying to stay strong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I'm actually soft in I'm quite hyped. I don't know about you. Right yeah, now. me too. And I think it was from yesterday. I had a friend come see for a bar. <laughs> And then, like, I think my year just became clearer. I had some revelations. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I cannot Male share. Female. female friend. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, female friendship is sweeter than anything else. Um, and, you know, I just discovered that I was in something that I wasn't true, if that makes sense. Like, when you mm -hmm. think you know who this person is or you know the situation okay. that you're in, and that makes you obviously act accordingly but we realize that the whole thing is a scam and all that well it's, it's kind of funny because it made me think about how how small life is and you cannot really outsmart li life like you can think that oh mommy bad guy i have this thing all planned out but there's so many other factors of life sure. that you cannot control like, like mm -hmm. i'm sure that that thing i discovered now that person wouldn't have known that a sleepover yesterday would scatter all their plans okay. and all of that. So I'm actually quite excited because to me, even though I'm not religious, I'm quite spiritual, to me that is God's way of speaking to me that, listen, mm. I'm helping you clear 2020, uh, oh shit. leaving the rubbish <laughs> behind. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I'm more ready to <clears throat> get into 2021 a lot more clearer. Mm -hmm. But are you guys clear for today's episode? Yes. All righty. Well, so, I'm clear for 2020 as well. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. It's so funny you just got your revelation, mm -hmm. but it's good. It's never, yeah. never say it's it's never too late. Yeah, to the year has actually not ended. There's a lot that could happen. Yeah. yeah. I wonder how many days. But okay. uh, yes, you'll be surprised. Mm -hmm. You don't know maybe tomorrow somebody's going to get their dream job. You know? Money's going to enter their account okay. they've never seen. Mm -hmm. Like the year hasn't ended, guys. Trust me. A lot can happen. Someone miracle. is still going to get rich this year. You understand. Ooh. I receive. I accept it. I'm liking the vibe on this table. Mm. Let me touch your garment if it. <laughs> it's all yours. <laughs> anyway, so one of the things that we really like to do here is follow up on stories. Mm -hmm. It is only right that we maintain the tradition, obviously. And I'm referring to the biggest viral right now. And apparently one of the longest to 10 years is floating all around mm -hmm. the internet. Anyway, for those who don't know, Davido and Bernard Boy got into a fight in a club in Ghana. Yes, they took our dirty laundry over there. A video is seen of Davido allegedly, obviously already agitated. And he... Mm -hmm pushed Burner Boy from the back. Blah, 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 blah. Well, now Nigerian music executive known as Paul O has sort of gotten involved by appealing to both artists. In fact, three artists, which is kind of weird because I don't know how Whiskey, Whiskey is it. so involved in this, but basically to make peace with each other. The upfront and personal CEO begged the trio, the trio to end their feud and focus on advancing the African culture that they're already doing. Uh, they're doing all of them are doing really fantastic jobs in that aspect. According to him, music unites people, heals the soul, and makes people dance. Thus, the need for the trial to set example, set an example by burying their differences. He urged David Doe, Whiskey, and Burner Boy to take lessons from 2020 and remember how temporary life is, mm -hmm. how much more there is to achieve, and how far they have come. And I feel mm -hmm. like that's for anyone else who is even in a feud that it's not as big as David Doe's, whatever. Like, things can be a lot more fra um, frugal, like, Irrelevant if you only look at the bigger picture. But your take, guys. I'm just saying. I'm saying. First, um, I think Polo, you know, is just dishing out wisdom because um, this is the same take everyone is at. Like, look, the three of you are like the biggest experts mm. from Nigeria. 
-hmm. and the three of you now want to be in a triangle, you know, of a beef triangle suddenly. Now, because I know Whiskey is getting dragged into it, and the people will be asking, what's Whiskey's on? He didn't even get involved in the fight and everything. But it's beginning to look like um, your silence, too, is supporting. It's speaking, yeah. yeah, it's speaking volume. So I think everyone should stand up for what they believe in, and then this whole beef thing, especially when we're not going to, like, it's not like we're supporting violence, especially when it's beginning to affect the fans as well. Yeah. When it's beginning to affect the people around you, when it's beginning to affect the people that look up to you yeah. as role models. They're it's holding bangers from us now. Very, Imagine mm -hmm. all three of them give us one nice banger like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Like it's becoming really unhealthy. So yeah. um, when I saw the story, I had to call um, David's camp to find out the exact story that of what happened so and um i've been given the permission to spill but mm. not mention who spilled mm. the info to me and basically um the inside source says that burner boy got to the venue before david okay. and they were playing david's songs mm -hmm. and then there's a video that has now gone viral yeah, of bonner boy pointing at the dj and like hollering at the dj and like telling him don't play that boy song mm. in the club i don't mm. know if you guys have heard the song i'm referring to and then what is david heard about bonner boy's rage that's bonner boy i mean bonner boy is already getting angry and then okay. he said it's gonna show up on the spot and bonner boy saw david at the spot went up to him, pushed him in the chest. But the guy in the video is actually not Bonner Boy, probably Bonner Boy. So the guy that was pushed. Thank God I read that not. script the way I read it yesterday. I was like, somebody who looked yeah. like David. Oh, yeah. So it's somebody not actually, like, he wasn't was Bonner Boy yeah. pushed from the back. They said it's just all this is American mm. guy that even after the fight is over that. What we saw was when everything was done. Mm. Do you understand? Like they were just taking David out of the club. Bonner Boy had already been weak out already. Bonner Boy wasn't in that space mm. anymore. It was only whiskey that was untouched because mm. He didn't get yeah, involved. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So but Bonner Boy had been taken out. David was also being escorted out. That not they everybody physically fight each other. No, they just put it was a chest yeah. to chest push. Like uh, show. Yeah, like, like, my brothers yeah. used to do that. They didn't, yeah, there was no <laughs> punch thrown, there was okay. nothing. But right. they said Bonner Boy was the first to show. Mm, yeah, yeah, so that's the thing, but it's from David's camp, so mm. obviously. <laughs> I don't know how true that yeah, is yeah. as no, well. Because yeah, because yeah. they said, yeah, Bonaboy was the first to show, but I don't know if it was David. So yeah, whatever it is, I just hope they're able to handle this like grown men and just, yeah. you know, sort it out because it's beginning to affect. Because I've been on um, those, com I've been in the comment section and I couldn't go on because I can see the back and forth from fans too. Mm -hmm. I saw one that the fans said that, you, I'll find you, I know your hand do not. Know your picture i know where yeah. you hang out do you understand like yeah, a fan yeah. was telling another yeah. fan like do you understand mm -hmm. like Wait. it's becoming way too violent and then mm. i just don't and then some of them are trying to bring this whole cultism into it sure. and i just think it's really really disturbing mm. and i think at that point that's where the artists themselves should draw the line and be like oh yo fam our Stop fans that. again yeah. can we just make can we just make peace count somebody be the bigger person. Mm -hmm. that's well, what your thought like, on okay. very quick? What's your thoughts on the ten-year claim that this beef is ten years old? And it has nothing to do with Bonner Boy. Mm -hmm. What part of Rankin said has nothing to do no, with Bonner. No, it's Bonner Boy that said that, that um, Davido that started this thing because he he posted something on Instagram saying when somebody said you you've been hating this guy for ten years and blah 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 blah. That's mm. why I'm wondering. Who has been hating you for 10 years? Is it Whiskey? Is it Burner Boy? Is it. We, anyway. we really don't care. <laughs> a lot of people feel like um, they hate them, but a lot of people don't know that sometimes hate is a blessing. It's mm. okay for people to hate on you. Mm, I think Gen that's easy to say, but. Trust me, it's it's not like it's easy to say. I, I, I for one, I know I'm one of the No hated, one is one of who the feels hated at the world. moment thinks, wow, this is a blessing. Yeah, this I'm is so nice. Yeah, this. like uh -huh. it's so easy to say. I think um, it's, I think I think if you're hated and you're not doing well for yourself, then you will know that okay, I am the problem. But when you're hated and you see that, okay, things are still moving smoothly. Just because things are moving smoothly, uh, let's not. Mm. Well, what you said about the fans, I feel like some fans are actually happy. They thrive over this beef between mm. their faves. Like, okay, where if um, Whiskey and um, Vulnerable have a problem, they're always happy and excited over it. So I don't think it's affecting <laughs> his fans. So, but what he said was really, I actually admired him for what he said. Who? Because 
um, the what's his name again? Paul. Paul. Oh. Yeah, Paul. Oh, because this, um, this I feel like the sky is big enough for the three of them. They are both wonderful artists. Well, even this year, so they showed how amazing they are. They mm. all released their album, and it was back to back amazing. So I just feel like the sky is big enough. There's no need for all, for all this beef. Even the fans, I think fans to the AM, they encourage things like this. That okay, my favorite is the best, and I think some of this it feeds into the cele um, celebrities' view. That's my own. I feel like, okay, you, this one is trying to compare you. You know, start having a problem with it. Mm. So I just feel like um, in Nigeria, this, this guy is big enough for everyone. You don't need to be yeah. over this one. I mean, I think, I think, I don't, to be honest with you, I think the fans are doing what the head is doing. They are, to mm -hmm. me, they're more of like they create the body. Thing. I think you don't, th there's a lot of people who are similar, who have mm -hmm. good relationships with each other in terms of colleagues or whatever. And the fans react, interact the same way. The bad blood between the Whiskey FCs and the Davido stands is because there is bad blood between Whiskey and Davido. So you don't think the fans the are yeah, because before then, remember Burner Boy and Davido used to be really giddy. True. And we never, I never saw that on my timeline anywhere. Even when there was comparison, it was healthy, it was banter, mm. and it was fun. Mm. We are the, the fans are reflecting what is going on. They know that there is bad blood, so that happens. I don't know. Maybe it's because the kind of music I've been listening to, even before now, there's always been beef between people. Mm -hmm. Like it's very common for artists to have that beef. Sometimes it looks like it's been scripted. Sometimes it looks real. I mean, somebody yeah. died. Be, I'm, I'm, um, Tupac died from. <laughs> but, I'm, and I'm that, and Biggie that real as well. Quick but, because you um, know. the person in the camp also said that look that look you guys should not get involved like because these guys are enjoying this beef right mm -hmm. now it's mm -hmm. helping their streams it's helping of the course, popularity yeah. way it's, it's a it. cultural yeah. thing so it's helping them they said the only time that these three will have sense is when there's one young game that just comes into the scene and is about to steal the show mm -hmm. that you see the three of them get back into the studio and start working i keep saying the three of them because whiskey has now been involved one way or the mm -hmm. other but if it left to me if i'm supposed to talk about this beef i'll leave a whiskey out of it and i think whiskey silence is there and i think the reason why whiskey is so involved first of all you're silent secondly you were not that giddy with burner boy until he started until burn uh, at least public perception oh, wow. mm -hmm. he's, he wasn't gi that giddy with burner boy until burner boy started um publicly trolling david doe so it is going to be weird if you're all of a sudden really close to the my enemy. That do you know what I mean? Like you the find of my enemy if end of my en enemy. yeah, the enemy of my enemy is my, my enemy, enemy type of thing, which is how I feel like um, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. <laughs> the enemy of you my enemy it. is my friend. It's, uh, sorry, yeah. So I think that's also where the the mix is because Whiskey is not someone that I feel like Whiskey is the most calculated for me. Mm -hmm. He's not somebody that can mistakenly jabo i feel like that's more um davido davido is a lot more sensitive and, and as his heart emotions, he would say if, if yes. whiskey wants to say something he knows what he's saying mm -hmm. the fact that he was even there the fact that he was silent the fact see but he knows know. what he's, he's doing thing, like he couldn't just he knows what he's doing he's very much okay. involved in that in that fight and he's picked his side well i saw an interview of um davido where they were asking him how he felt about um whiskey not responding mm -hmm. when he said we wish them um, congratulations on his album and stuff like that. They say, nah, I don't care. And yeah. he's saying, are you the biggest? He said, yes, nah, I'm the biggest in Africa. He said, is it when numbers. it comes to money? He said, no, the numbers you get. Mm. Like, it was really, really, really jabboing, like mm. you want to put it. Because I don't think, yeah, we all know. Let the numbers speak for themselves. Well, that's why, yeah. okay, I saw that, that interview as well. To me, there was nothing wrong with that. Um, Whiskey not um, in, um, responding to David o is the problem. It's How rude. It problem? Because you know, yeah, come you on now. Wait, wait. It yeah, came out when you released your own album. It came out to congratulate you. The least you could do is just yeah. And you're, it's not like as if no, you're not replying to other people. Mm -hmm. So you, you're, you see, your silence speaks as like, well. Yeah, it's like for those people that say I didn't do anything, uh -huh. but that's the problem. The <laughs> fact that you did not do anything is the problem. And also when he said that, oh, uh, he before he said that thing of like, um, check, um, look at the numbers. The, 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 the interviewer was the one that was also like pushing for it, and he's not lying. Every every promoter. I don't want to mention any other media outlet that they've done all these documentaries on like numbers mm. and stuff. It is mm. very clear that Davido always takes the lead. Even mm. when I remember um, getting those information, I was not a Davido fan because it stood out to me like, who is listening to this guy? Because I don't really care that much about his mm -hmm. music. But since day one, he's always led. We we have had this. We've been on this table analyzing and breaking down the albums of the year, and he's yeah. still led. So it's not like as if no, he's lying or he's um, tripping. But anyway, let's go on a quick break. <laughs> 